Hello Legion, this is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more of The Long Dark in our Faithful Cartographer Interloper miniseries. I am actually picking up coal. You might have seen me pick up a few pieces at the end of the last episode. We are very close to dying. Um, but the things that are close to killing us at present are actually not hunger related. They are... It's, it's uh, exhaustion related. And exhaustion doesn't really get you that badly in The Long Dark, in my experience. Hang on, there could be stuff here worth getting. Scrap metal. Uh, it's not really. No, I don't. I just want to search the drawer. There we go. Summit soda and worn work gloves. Hey, all right. I will take it. Let's also go ahead and drink that soda. That could be a good thing. 250 calories extra to make sure that we stay topped off as we get into Desolation Point. Hell yes. Now, is there anything else here? Matches. More coal, and I don't know that I need that much coal, to tell you the truth. There's going to be plenty on the Riken when I get there, if I get there, which is a big if. All right, nothing in the metal containers, and no toque as per usual. I was joking in the last episode that it would be hilarious if I found a toque somewhere here right now. All right, there's nothing else here. I know it looks like I'm dying, but nothing, again, I've talked about this a lot in my series. Dang it. Those things. There we go. Nothing is killing me right now, so... Let's just make absolutely sure there's nothing hiding back here. Okay, good. Let's keep moving. I know we're limping around like an idiot right now because we're at the, the absolute end of our rope. But we are okay condition-wise. Exhaustion can kill us, but it would do so slowly. There's another pry bar. Better condition than the one I have? No. Drop. Yeah, because we're so exhausted, we're also slowing down on account of said uh, encumbrance. It was nice that we found that summit soda. Not only because it replenishes our thirst, but because... Let's get that coal too, and that'll probably be the last of the coal I pick up. Um, not only because it replenishes our thirst, but because it replenishes our hunger a very little bit. 250 more calories to add to the top. So there's some stones now and some coal laying around here. Now that stones have been added to the game, there's stones in the mine too. So there's, a, there's coal, and then there's a stone right there that I could pick up. But there are no rabbits in here to throw the stone at, so I'm not going to. We've got some extra lantern fuel as well. I know I'm passing up a lot of coal. It hurts me to pass up this much coal. But... i got to make do with, with what I've got. Let's go down this way. I can't remember which way is the right way here. Oh, this is the right way. Okay, we're already at the other side. Other side, excuse me. Um, Alright, anything here? No? Another food item or a toque would be nice at this point, game, if you want to be very, very generous. Some cured leather. That's not very generous. Alright, well, I still need to... Actually, I don't need to warm up anymore, so I am good to go as far as trying to make it to shelter where I'm warm enough. Um, and then I could rest and actually regain condition and be okay if I could make it to shelter. Which, if there were no wolves, would be possible. Let's pick up that coal for funsies. But the issue is that I'm encumbered. And if anything attacks me, I'm dead. I'm not giving off any scent right now. I left my rabbit guts and my rabbit hide behind, unfortunately, because I had to. All right, what time of day is it? It's actually nighttime. That's not good. That's not good at all. But we've got to try, nonetheless, to do this. Because we have nowhere to rest. Oh, man. This is going to be close if I make it. I'm just trying to move as quickly as I can. The cold is going to be deadly within a couple of, within one minute probably. And we are about to lose our ability to sprint. This is not good. Yeah, exhaustion, I don't think actually, I don't know if exhaustion reduces your condition at all in the long dark. How cold is it right now, 11 degrees? Yeah, if we got inside the, the truck cabin here, it wouldn't do us any good. I am still going to peek in here really quickly because you never know. We could find... Oh, actually, no, I'm not. I'm not going to do that. I don't want to waste any second at all. You never know. It could be the second between life and death. All right, so as soon as that, that eye at the bottom becomes red, we will be in serious danger. All right, we're blocked from the wind right now, and I'm going to try and stay that way. We are also... We're actually doing okay cold-wise right now. Sun is setting. So we're actually not in serious, serious danger. Hey, rabbit. I would kill you right now if I wasn't in less mortal danger, but... All 
Alright, I heard a deer nearby running away. Alright, I'm gonna run a little bit more because I'm not exhausted yet and I can. This is gonna exhaust me faster, but. I'm so tired. Alright. Stay down right here. Alright, we're not quite there yet. Alright, condition wise, we're about halfway down, but we are, I'll be honest, we're further along than I thought we'd be. I just need to avoid wolves, so I'm gonna try and stick to this side of the road until I can beeline towards the lighthouse. If there's a lighthouse between me, or if, <laughs> if there's a wolf between me and the lighthouse, then I'm, I'm, I'm a goner. Yeah, I can't sprint anymore. And cold-wise, we're gonna start dying from the cold very soon. And we only have 8% condition to spare. Yeah, it doesn't seem like the exhaustion is actually affecting my condition at all. This is rough. This is going to be hard for you guys to watch, I imagine. That looked like a wolf there, I know. That's wolf-shaped rock. Alright, I don't know if we're going to make it, guys. And if we do, we're going to have only a few points of condition left. We're done. We're done. We're done. stopped him. Oh no it didn't. He's still coming. No, let's not light a match, Hadrian. That's not going to be useful. I'm literally shaking, guys. Alright, let's hope that that thing laying there will be enough to slow him down. Actually, seems like he might have buggered off. Hypothermia risk. All right, that's it. I'm almost there. 7%. Blizzard's coming in. Holy crap, guys. 6%. Oh my god, I'm, I'm shaking so bad. Holy crap. 5%? I think we're gonna make it! I think we're actually gonna make it! We just stumbled towards the door. Yes! Get inside! Oh my god! We freaking made it! Holy mother of Christ! Alright, um... Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Alright, um... Oh. <laughs> I know I sound positively orgasmic right now. Um, might have come close. Not gonna lie, sorry if that's too much information. <sighs> I'm kidding, of course. Some of you aren't gonna believe me from the sound of my voice, but holy crap. This is, this, this right here, this, this right here, guys. This is why this is one of the greatest games I have ever played in my life. Moments like this are why this game deserves, <laughs> in my opinion, next to none of the criticism that it gets. This is unparalleled. Unparalleled in... It's intensity. Oh my god. Oh my god. Absolutely unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm hoping for one food item and I see it. Pinnacle peaches. We made it, guys. Peaches are gonna get us through the night. If I could just pick them up. I can't because I'm having trouble holding still. Uh, and there's an emergency stem. That's another win. Oh my god. Holy crap! Oh, holster. Oh, I'm tingling. Like like the extremities of my bodily and my and my body and my face are just like. Oh man. Oh my god. Holy shit! All right. Oh, let's see. Um. All right. So. We need to just sleep for as long as we possibly can right now. Let's go ahead and do the eight-hour approach and recover some condition. Oh my god. We're awake. 27% condition. Let's drink again.
can sleep for just three more hours. Unfortunately, I'm still low on food. <laughs> it never ends. So we're gonna probably wake up yeah, right, right at dawn here, which is what I wanted. We're at 31% condition. We still have wolves to worry about. We don't have that much. Hang on, let's go ahead and refuel our lantern with the fuel that we do have, because we're gonna need it. And I actually don't wanna waste this fuel. So I might actually kind of do my best to feel around in the dark for a bit here. Um, nothing else on that shelf. Nothing in this windowsill. Metal container here. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try and leave the lantern off where I can. I've got some lockers here. <sighs> a locked one, that's a good sign. Higher chance of the loot tables being kind. Nothing. Nothing. Alright. Now, I did put on those gloves, right? Yeah, I did. Alright, let me light the lantern for just a second. You know, if you ever find a lantern and then don't have any fuel in it, why can't you salvage the fire striking mechanism from the lantern? How about that, Hinterland? <laughs> How about that? All right, um... All right, metal container. I'm going to go right back inside here. Because I can't afford to be outside for long, and it looks like the weather's actually pretty crappy. So let's extinguish this thing. Can't afford to use any of my fuel. All right, good, here's the stairs. I'm gonna go back downstairs, and I think what I'm gonna do is rest for a little while longer. I can't rest for too much longer, but I wanna get a little bit more condition. Because again, starvation kills you slowly. I can afford to starve. I hate to veer towards using that exploit at all right now, but let's see, if we slept for two hours, we'd still have some calories left. Um, but not many. We would have to. We'd be in a bad way, but let's do it. I'm going to get as much condition back as I can. Now we're going to wake up starving, probably. No, we're not. We're not. But we're going we're to wake up close to starving. All right. 33% condition. Again, you recover more condition the longer you sleep. Realistically, of course. All right. Weather outside doesn't sound too frightful. Oh, I need to find food. Let's check this medicine shelf. Also, let me have a quick peek once more at my inventory. I'm carrying eight coal, which is about as much as I'm willing to carry. I think what I'm going to do, if the weather's good, is beeline straight for the Riken. And if we're lucky, there will be food on the Riken. Uh, we can use the lantern. Oh, oh, you love me today, don't you, game? I love you too. Oh my gosh. I could just, if, if, you, were, if you were a physical body, I would do unspeakable things. Um, <laughs> oh man, uh, let's, let's, uh, let's go. Are you serious? Where? There's not normally a wolf across the bridge. Okay, I'm gonna... I don't think he's coming. I think we're good. But I do need to take, take a look down here. Make sure there's nothing. It would hate to die by wolf. I, I, it, would, it would suck to die by wolf at this stage. In the game now, I have plenty of ability to sprint right now, so that would allow me may maybe to get away if a wolf did decide to chase me. But I'd prefer not to even tempt fate. You know, I'm going to crouch to reduce my detection radius to make sure that doesn't happen. They say I hate being cold. I really do. All right, so we're going to beeline for the Riken. Actually, I'm going to go around this way just to be extra safe. Here's some. Uh, Reclaim wood. Cold-wise. Oh, we're freezing. Crap. That was fast. I guess it is morning. That makes sense. Alright, so we're going to be losing condition again. We're at 32 already. But there's our, there's our journey. There's our destination. We actually made it this time, guys. 
Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna be a little bit risky here. I'm gonna stop over here because you never know. Well, actually, no. That 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 truck is buried in the ice, so there won't be food in it. Never mind. There's. It, it looks like they're circling possibly a body. So I'll have to come back and check that later. But for now, I'm gonna get to the Riken. So, so hungry. All right, and that's the other problem. So we're back to our. We're back to where we started. We, we have a serious need for a toque. Or a scarf. Anything to put on our heads. But we made it to the Riken. And there's the, uh... There's the spot in Desolation Point where we are most likely to find anything else that we need. So that's the good news. And it's not quite noon, so we'll have plenty of light wherever we go. Right now, in here it'll be warmer. Presumably. Okay, I was hoping for a scarf there. There can sometimes be a scarf right inside. Actually, it is not warm enough in here. Oh, yes it is. Okay, we just have to be away from the door. Alright, well, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna light this lantern, briefly, and use it to quickly scour the area. There's some scrap metal, we need that. Quickly. Scour. Alright, we can break all of this metal shelving down with our hacksaw. But, my main objective right now... Right, there's a fishing book, that's good can't keep this lantern on forever. I'm going to need it to scour the um, the warehouse too, so... I mean, I've got matches as well, but I just, I want to be as fast as I can here. Did I search? Yeah, I did. Right, anything here? No. Anything over here? No. Dead guy? Hey. Piece of coal? Hey. Bandage? Gimme. Need that. Use one. There's some coal. I'm going to go ahead... First of all, let me holster this, turn it off really quickly. We're here, so I can go ahead and drop everything that is related to this place. Heavy hammer I can drop. Uh, scrap metal I can drop. Hacksaw I can drop. Um, all that stuff we've been lugging around forever is no longer... We, we don't need it anymore. Um, as, as long as... Well, well, we need it, but we don't need to have it on our person. All right. Now let's keep looking for food. I've got some hope. Also, we'd love to find a little bit of lantern fuel. Even just one little container of it would be great. And yes, I did find one container. I've already put it in the lantern for those of you who might have missed it. Alright, so there are beds in here, FYI. So if we needed to rest in here, we could. That's not my most important objective, though. My most important objective is that! That! Yes! <laughs> oh! Oh, there's two cans of pork and beans. Oh my god, you have got to be kidding me right now. This is the best ever. So I'm going to cook those before I eat them. But um, we are home free, guys. We might actually do this. We might have a chance. All right, so let's see. All right, um, I need to light a fire, and I have very little fuel to do it. Let's go ahead and put... I don't need the lantern right now. I've been saying, conserve fuel, and I'm walking around in the broad daylight with my frickin' lantern. Okay, here's a corpse. Watch him have a toque. <laughs> that would be the piece de resistance. That would be absolutely amazing. All right, frostbite risk. Let's go back inside before we lose any more condition. All right, so here's what we got to do now. Um, I actually... how many matches do I have? I've got this torch. Tell you what, I'm gonna light this torch. We'll put it back away in just a second. And let's, uh... Very quickly pick all this stuff back up, because we're gonna need it, starting now. Alright, and here's a crate that we can break down. Uh... Hey, we... we why can't you? Oh, okay, that's right. I had to extinguish it first before I put it away. I was trying to put the torch away without extinguishing it. All right, so let's go ahead and break down. We're starving at the moment, so I can't do this. This is going to take an hour and eight minutes, but it's okay. I just need the wood. We need to turn around. Hang on. All right. So if we turn around now, the furnace is here. Let's open it up and start us a fire. We've got a book, thankfully. Our fire starting chance... Oh, did our fire starting chance go up? It did. Hang on, let's take a look. 
really quickly. How about that? So that must have been, it wasn't our cooking skill that went up. Our cooking skill is actually about to hit level three. Our fire starting skill is now much better and fires last 10% longer. So that's nice. Thanks game, appreciate that. We're gonna go with the 95% chance, obviously. I'm gonna take charcoal, we got six charcoal from that. I don't know, I don't wanna light a match. Where's the freaking furnace, there it is. Uh, yeah, start fire. All right, and now we have enough wood to keep this going for a bit. I'm so excited, we actually accomplished this. Even if we die after this, this is the furthest I've made it in an interloper run, um, as far as, you know, making my initial tools. At least I think it is. We didn't make it to the, the forge in Against All Odds Season 3. We didn't make it out of Mystery Lake in Against All Odds Season 3. In Against All Odds Season 2... No, in um, in, in the interloper miniseries, I don't think we we made it either. So this is fantastic. No, I don't... I'm not sure what's happening, but it's not letting... Okay, there we go. I've got some cedar firewood on me, too. I forgot about that. Very nice. All right, so the coal can't be added for another 20 minutes. So I don't even need the reclaimed wood. I can just add bunches and bunches of coal to this thing. Did I already pick up the coal out of this crate? No, I didn't. There should be one more there. There you are. All right, now we can break this down with the heavy hammer. We're actually about out of water, so hang on, let me... We're not out of water, but we're, our thirst needs to be addressed. Also, I need to go ahead and cook these, um, these pork and beans, so let's do that. Let's handle that problem. All right, there we go. Looks kind of creepy, doesn't it? All right, so now I think I can add... Yeah, I can go ahead and add these. Let's go ahead now and cook. We also can cook the rosehip tea and go ahead and have that on us as a painkiller. All right, I'm going to go ahead and eat the first one immediately. Because it's low condition, but 600 calories I will take. Excellent, and we're warming up now. All right, so now let's go ahead and add, I'm not gonna use that cedar firewood, but I will add another piece of coal. And let's go ahead and do the rest of the cooking here. Oh, this feels good. This feels good, man. All right, so let's go ahead and turn the volume down a little bit. Not for you guys, but for me. Oh, we need potable water. So I'll, I guess I'll go ahead and eat the, uh, the rest of those pork and beans. And now we are in good shape food-wise for the next uh, for the next 30 minutes anyway. Uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and melt a bunch of water. Or melt a bunch of snow into water. So condition-wise, we're actually okay. We need to rest and regain some of that condition, but we can here. Very much more. All right, let's boil this, and then we need to add some more coal to the fire. And we need to start making stuff. We also need this thing to get hot enough. So the forge requires 270. All right, so I'm going to put those three in. It's going to give us four hours, 31 minutes. We need 270. Just cross, just cross 250 or 160. 160, or 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, not bad, 200, uh, nope, not quite, almost there. This is why the coal is so important, that's why I said it hurt me to pass up so much coal in the mines. Alright, I think this is all we're going to need. Of course we stopped just short. Alright, so 270 That's what we have. And then let's make sure condition-wise we're okay. I'm going to go ahead and drink this water. Now the other thing is that doing this is going to take up a lot of calories and time. But I can now open the forge. It's going to take a second to load. That's fine. And we've got some cloth on us, so let's go ahead and make an improvised knife. Yeah, see, our daylight is rapidly going away, as is our calorie load which is unfortunate. And then I need to make an improvised hatchet. Now we also need to make arrowheads 
but I think it might be better to go ahead and, and leave for a bit now that we have some tools and keep looking for some gear. We need to get our condition back up. I don't want to get too ambitious and start making arrowheads, but I am going to go ahead and make the hatchet. Actually, I didn't check to see if the fire would last, so hopefully it will. Okay. Improvised hatchet. Done. Yeah, we are officially out of um, calories again, which sucks, but hang on. Tell you what, let's go ahead and... Did we drink the tea already? I guess we drank the tea. Yeah, I suppose we did. All right, so now we've got tools. Oh, I could eat anything um, right now. All right, so... Actually, we still have a little bit of time here, but... Let's see, I think the best thing to do would be to go ahead and head across to the, um... It, it sounds like the weather's pretty good right now, and we don't have that far to go to get to the, um, the warehouse. So I think that would be the best thing to do, just to go straight across and try and get there. So, um, let's see, let me go ahead and drop the heaviest stuff I'm carrying. I don't need the heavy hammer. I don't even need this much reclaimed wood on me. What am I doing? All right, drop. Well, let's drop three of those. All right, there we go. There we go. Condition-wise, we're okay. We're starting to get tired, so I'll, I'll have to keep an eye on that. We still have some coal on us, so I'll drop all of that. Also don't need the hacksaw, because um, there's plenty of metal here to be broken down. So I'm going to drop the hacksaw here. Uh, pry bar I'll keep, of course. Wood I'll keep. And then um, let's step up to the furnace. Let's take a torch. And let's get going. I'm hoping the weather is as nice outside as it sounds like it is. Uh, there we go. <laughs> it wasn't letting me leave. Yeah, it's pretty good. Alright, so we're gonna go that direction. I know those sound like wolves, but they're not. I forget what they're called. You guys told me in a past season of Against All Odds, and now I've forgotten. Loo something. Loons? Loons? I can't remember. All right, so there's some boats here that we need to check, but I also need to keep an eye out for wolves. There usually are not wolves on this section of the ice, but I'd hate to be proven wrong right now. There can be wolves also up here if you try and get into this area. On the other side of this fence, if you can see the fence. By the way, I've received a few comments from time to time about my brightness settings. My brightness settings are fine. I have my monitors up fully bright, and I have the long dark game settings um, set up ideally as well. Um, oh good, there's some beef jerky right there. Open backpack. Let's go ahead and eat that jerky right now. So, yeah, if, if anything is ever too dark in this series, I assure you it is on your end. There might be slight effects from the encoding, but, um, I've never observed that in, in previous episodes that I've recorded. And I get, I tend to get very little feedback in that regard, so... Because there's so little feedback, and because I know my settings are are finely tuned, um, if anything is ever too dark, just make sure that your monitor settings are good. And if you can't get them up any brighter, it might just be a sign that uh, your monitor is either just not bright enough by default, or it might be on its way out. Hopefully not. But uh, I just received a few comments to that effect, and I wanted to speak to it. All right, so I've got to get inside because we're about to get pretty cold. We already are pretty cold. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and get straight inside the warehouse. I think that's the smartest thing to do. Actually, we're gonna use the back door to be super safe here. I've never come in this way anyway. And on that note, on that triumphant note, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this episode here. We are here in the Hibernia processing plant where we might find, find plenty of loot. This is one of the locations where I'm most hopeful about finding a toque. Um, so cross your fingers there, but we are going to cut this one here. Thanks so much for watching. This is hands down uh, the most intense episode of The Lawn Dark I've ever recorded. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> I mean it. It's been absolutely um, amazing. This is, this is, I, I'm, I'm just breathless at the moment with how that went. And this is the reason that I wanted to record Long Dark content for my channel. So those of you who wonder why I play this game, now you know. Again, 
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New episodes are coming out every day at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. We're going to go till 25 or longer. Who knows? <laughs> Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.